Good Wednesday afternoon to all. Hope you are doing well. A good year. It should be a good year. And a Chag Sameach. Good Yom Tev as well. Uh, we're going to discuss something halachic today. Uh, the Talmud shares with us that when we build the sukkah, uh, we are very appreciative to the Almighty that we have reached this moment again. And therefore the Talmud notes that it's appropriate to say, In other words, the blessing of gratitude that we are alive and indeed building the structure again is one we should make when we are building the sukkah. Now we don't have that practice. Because the Talmud shares with us that Rav Kahana would wait for the Kiddush on the eve of Sukkot to make his Shechianu. In other words, as he made the Shechianu for the day of Sukkot itself, the 15th of Tishrei, and he would make that Shechianu, he would have in mind to also cover the structure. So we follow the Rav Kahana practice, even though technically speaking, the Shehechianu on the structure could be made even before Sukkot. So bottom line is that the Kiddush we make on the first night of Sukkot, when you say that Shehechianu, you have two things in mind. Number one, you are grateful to the Almighty for the day. And that is when you make Kiddush, you accept the day and afterwards the Shehechianu. And so too, you are grateful to the Almighty, there's a Shechianu for the structure. And therefore, the order of things on the first night of Sukkot is that you make a blessing on the wine, and then you make a blessing on the day, the Kiddush, and then you make a blessing on the Sukkah, Le Sheva Sukkah. The Shechianu after that returns to both previous statements. It's a Shehechianu for the day. It's a Shehechianu for the structure. Now, commentators note that on day two, things are different. Because when we go ahead and celebrate day two, in essence, we are treating it as if it is day one again. Right? We're familiar with the concept of this Feka de Yoma outside of Israel. So when we celebrate day two, we have to look back at day one as if it was Erev Sukkot. Now, technically speaking, if a person made a Shechianu on the structure itself, an Erev Sukkot, the Shechianu is valid. So on the Kiddush of night two, the Shechianu is not required for the structure, for the Sukkah. It is only required for the day. And therefore, as you will see in your Machzor, the proper order of things for the second night of Sukkot is to go ahead and say the Shechianu right after the Kiddush because the Shechianu is only for the day. The Shechianu is not needed for the Sukkah. Only after we make the Shechianu for the day do we make a blessing on the Sukkah. Okay? Now what you have to keep in mind is that this year, night two, is also Motzei Shabbat. So you have also the Havdalah. So there are a lot of things to keep in mind and it's proper to have your machzor or a bencher in front of you as you make those blessings. Uh, but really, as we talk about a Shechianu, it's a time to be grateful to the Almighty that we are celebrating Sukkot. It's the time of Simcha. It's the peak. It's the pinnacle. After this journey of the Yamim Noraim, we are happy because we feel it's a privilege to participate in our traditions, to connect to the higher being and to connect to one another. Uh, may the Almighty grant us a time of simcha, that we should hear good news, and it should be indeed a Chag Sameach, a good yontif to all. All the best. Bye-bye.